Welcome, you're listening to Making Relationships Work. We're a company focused on women and their marriage. We lead and teach women just like you how to grow into and access whenever you need to your wise woman self, the part of you who is deeply connected to your purpose, your innate wisdom and your husband and family. We teach women in marriages how to rebuild trust and connection, to work through conflicts, no matter how deep, no matter how painful, and to lead your marriage to a place where the two of you experience marriage mastery. This podcast is about learning the systems and techniques that truly work to reconnect you back into your marriage so that you can experience the freedom that comes with a masterful marriage. Since this podcast is totally free, if you're getting tons of value and you want to support us and make sure that you get more of this good stuff, subscribe below and rate and review our podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hello, women making marriages work. Hello, community. Hello. How are you today? We are here doing a live on a really important topic. And it came because of yesterday, actually. So yesterday I posted a reader question. You might have seen it. Her name was Sarah. And within that question, there was a big question. And that's the question we're going to answer today, which is all about, let me read it to you. Hello, Leilani, can you hear me? Just make sure before I get going. Leilani, if you can hear me, tell me that you can hear me. Okay, so we're actually going to talk about doing something about it. Hello, so she can hear me, so you can hear me. All right, so what we're going to talk about today is what to do when you're worried you're getting it wrong. And this is a really, really important topic because there's really two main legs of this problem. And those two legs are things that you and I, we really need to get serious about understanding because the idea of doing it wrong is one that doesn't allow us to feel good about ourselves. If you're worried you're doing it wrong, you're not feeling powerful. You're not feeling amazing. You're not feeling connected. You're not feeling like a wise woman. You're not feeling like a woman who can carry kind of the weight of the world on her shoulders and still enjoy herself and laugh and have all of those plates spinning. Instead, you're kind of small and you're scared and you're probably not taking up the amount of space that is just yours because you're a human, because you're alive. You're probably taking up a smaller amount of space than that. And so what we need to talk about is the idea that you're doing it wrong. And that is, it has two prongs. It has two parts to that, which I mentioned earlier. The first is you are actually doing it wrong. And so there's a competency issue that we're talking about. And so what this might be is around, let's, let's keep it in the marriage arena, but this might be around, well, I am interacting with my husband in a way that um, separates us or that disconnects us. And no matter what I try, I haven't been able to find the bridge so that the two of us feel like a partnership. So that might be one thing we're talking about today. And that might be a competency issue. Now, when it's a competency issue, that means it's a skill set issue and a practice issue and a coach issue. Yeah. So that means that there's somebody out there like me who knows how to fix this. And so your job is to find the person that you want to work with to teach you how to do that. Okay. so we can spend some more time in that space, but I'm going to come back to it, I think, because where I really want to spend time, which is where I get the sense that Sarah lives and some of the people who commented on her post live, is that you are making yourself wrong on top of perhaps having a competency or a skill set shortage or deficit. You're missing that piece of the puzzle. And there's nothing wrong with not knowing something, is there? All of us have learned everything we know to date because when we were born, we were literally a blank slate. Yeah. So it's okay not to know something. But what we're talking about here is not knowing something. And on top of that, adding a level of shame, uh, kind of embarrassment or that sense of powerlessness or hopelessness or, um, frozenness about doing something about it. And so instead of taking an action step to learn something, 
we berate ourselves, we criticize ourselves, we act with contempt towards ourselves. And humans, women in particular, have a very active inner critic. And that inner critic is the one that tells you you're doing it wrong, you're never gonna get this, or that inner critic is very, very harsh on you. So it tells you those things. And then as a defender against that feeling, which is very low in terms of energy, so it's where you're in the depression, the shame, the anxiety, the helplessness, the hopelessness, the rage, the frustration, the jealousy. It's down in that center, yeah? And so to avoid us spending too much time down there, it starts, that inner critic turns on the person that's in front of us, very often our husbands, very often our families, particularly our children, but most of all our husbands. And so we turn something where we, we are in a situation which we have some leadership opportunity. We have some ability to influence, but right now we actually don't know how to do that. And so we kind of know that we don't know, and then we make ourselves feel really ashamed of that. And so then we move into that kind of learned helplessness or that victim space where I'm not okay and it's all my fault and I'm so worried about it and I'll never be able to influence it. And the thing is, when you're operating in that energy, of course you can't get from there to a, a wise woman who's powerful and engaging and showing leadership and courage and certainty that she will find a way no matter what because her family, her marriage, her life is at stake and there's no way she's going to let it feel like this. Does that make sense? And so what we're really talking about today is helping women get from that space of feeling like they are powerless, they are hopeless, they are in a situation they can't influence, they are feeling all of those really heavy feelings and making themselves wrong making themselves bad, making themselves the problem. But in doing so, that doesn't allow them to take action and move forward. That only allows them to feel terrible and stuck in that low set of emotions. And when you're in that low set of emotions, it's really hard to get going. So how do you get from low to powerful is actually the question that we're answering here. Because when we make ourselves wrong, it's a, either a competency issue or it's a self-esteem issue, isn't it? And that's actually what we're really talking about today. And of course, I can't write a reply to my beautiful Sarah who wrote this question with all of this information in it. It just doesn't flow the same way as when I'm talking to you. And so I want you to know, Sarah, you can't get from that low space where your energy is low, your sense of self-worth is low, your self-esteem is low, your anxiety is high. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you are kind of missing some pieces of the puzzle, that competency-based stuff. And you're using that to feel terrible. We've got so much energy and power going on here, Sarah. You're using a lot of it in that low space. But what I want to encourage you is to use it for good to use it for making the right decision, to use it for making steps towards what you want and to not be weight, like not to be shaken or what's the word? Not to be shaken from your conviction that something has to be done and you are the person to do it. You have everything you need. And that's actually what we're talking about. It's a reminder to you and I'm talking directly to Sarah, but I know there are lots of you out there who feel the same way. So let's talk about this. Let's remind you of who you are. You, yes, you, are a wonderful woman. You're learning. You're committed to difference. You wouldn't be in this group if you weren't. You're committed to leadership. You're committed to change. You're committed to yourself. You're committed to your husband. You are committed to your children. Yes? And so now you can feel that momentum. Yeah, you've got some power here because all of those things are true. And so where you get unstuck is the very next step. The next step is what are you going to do about it? And this is the gap, right? This is where the stress is because you understand that your marriage is in one space and that you are in another and there is a gap. There's a gap of competency, there's a gap of connection, there's a gap of kind of that repair of the past damage. 
and you are here and where you want to get to is here and you don't know how to do that. And I understand that. I understand it. But there are lots of ways to figure out how to close that gap. You're a resourceful woman. You're here. But what's getting in your way, my love, is this stuckness in the hopelessness, in the worry and letting the anxiety energy drive you into kind of just doing circles. We have to interrupt that. We have to interrupt that and use that power to move yourself into a transformation, to move yourself into this certainty that there is a solution here. And it's probably multi-pronged. It's not like a one, because <laughs> marriage isn't. It's not like a one answer thing. There's like a multiple, multiple set of things that need to happen in order for you to find your way across that bridge from where you are to where you want to be. But if you are here and you are asking these questions, and you can take this coaching, you can take this information, and you can use this power to form your late yourself into some action momentum steps where you start to show up differently. So watch the masterclass. Take on the steps that are in there. Do those. See where that gets you. And use those things to give yourself momentum to keep going. Because every time you slide into anxiety, every time you slide into hopelessness, every time you slide into despair, every time you slide into making yourself smaller instead of taking up your natural space in the world, every time you do that, you're in your own way. You're in your own way and you're not creating anything. You're destructing, if anything. At best, you're neutral. At worst, you're adding more trouble to the situation. And so what I want for you, my love, what I want for you is to use that energy for good. I want you to take some of that power and channel it into creating the connection to doing the repairs in the marriage, to finding your friend who is your husband and putting your hand out and saying, my love, we've got some things we need to work on. And going from there. That, my love, is actually what we're talking about. So the topic looks like what I've done wrong. But actually where we are is that you've made yourself wrong and in doing that, you've lost the ability to find the power to make the change, to be the change you want to see in the world. And so when we channel that into something good, into a creation-based energy, my love, that's where we get everything we've ever needed. This is where we get everything we ever needed. And it is right here for the taking. It is right here for you. You can be the change you want to see. So stop wasting time. And I say this with such love and genuine respect. Stop wasting time in the space that leaves you disempowered, that leaves you without that sense of energy. And if you are finding that you don't feel like you've got any power, I'm going to ask Leilani to post the link of the eight day empower in the shower challenge that we did. Because what that does is it allows you to get that energy going in yourself. You need to have energy to lead. You need to have energy to fuel yourself so that you can kind of hold the frame and hold the space for yourself and for others that are important to you. And your marriage needs you to do that. For whatever reason, you're here because probably couples therapy hasn't worked for you and your husband is kind of out of ideas and it's up to you. It's up to you to do something different. And when you're spiraling in that downward space where you're, you actually have a competency issue more than anything, yeah, a competency and a skill set issue. It's like Oprah says, when you know better, you do better. So at the moment, you don't know how to do it better. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But I want you to take that idea of not knowing and add to it the energy that has kept you in that space of being so worried you're doing it wrong. And instead of spending energy in that downward space, I want you to use that energy to propel you to research, to join, to find with your husband and ask him to work with you, to do the things that you need to do, like watch my masterclass and start implementing those changes. That's what I want you to do. And I want you to remind yourself, whenever you're in that downward small space, you're not serving yourself. You're actually in your own way. You're in a part of you that is not showing leadership. And so if you want to know more about that, I'm really happy to talk to you. We'll need to go into your specific situation. And so to do that, you can book a breakthrough call. 
but my loves, this is the key here. And if you've watched a few of my lives, there is a key in every one of them. You are the key. You are everything you need to be. Just you, just enough, just by yourself. So long as your energy is in the creation space, not the destruction space. So long as you, my love, are committed to growth, you're committed to doing it better, you're committed to yourself, you're committed to not getting in your own way. And when you are in your own way, you are committed to noticing and changing that. You are the person you have been waiting for. You are the person you have been waiting for to come in and save you, to come in and help you find your way out of this mess that you're in. And you know what? Life is messy. It is okay that your marriage is a mess. It is okay if you are a mess. It is okay because that is actually the whole point of life is to give us things to work through because in the very act of working through something, we build a muscle. And on the other side of working through something, we know we can resolve things. We know we have leadership. We know we have courage. And when we know that, we sit up a bit straighter. We take on a bit more. We're more powerful, more courageous, more happy, more engaging in joy and hope because we know that we can do it. So if you're on the other side yet at the moment and you're in that downward space, it is only because you haven't resolved something so that you can take that into your identity and have that serve you. And that's what we need for you, my loves. So if you want some help, watch my masterclass. The link's in the comments. You can book a call with me. We're pretty booked up at the moment, but keep checking back each day. We open five new slots every day. We are full though, so <laughs> which is amazing. <laughs> but if you want us, you're really going to have to be proactive about it. And we will get to you eventually. Put yourself on our wait list if you need to. And when you're on the wait list, we will email you when we have a break, when we have a cancellation, when we have a no-show. And if you are one of those women who are booking those calls and then not showing up, please cancel it because there are so many people who are on my wait list. They want to talk to me. They are serious about transformation. They are serious about having a different experience of life. And so I want you to get out of their way if you're in your own way, if that makes sense. Okay, my loves, I'm going to have a quick look now to see if there's any comments that you want me to answer while we're talking. Let me have a look now. Do, 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 do. Okay, beautiful. No comments, but Leandra says hello. Hello, Leandra. I'll see you on our client call in about 15 minutes. It's going to be fun. All right, my loves, it's nearly time for me to get going. But if you have any questions, now's the time to write them in the Women Making Marriages Work um, Facebook Live box. I will read it. I'll answer it here. But before I go, what I want to leave you with is the certainty that when you know better, you will do better. And so if this is a competency issue where you are in your own way and you are making yourself small and you're making yourself wrong, I want you to see it as a defender to growth. You're trying to protect yourself from what you fear, which is what happens if I open this up to talk about what happens if this is actually a mess and I open it and it gets even worse. The thing is, my loves, we have to open it eventually and it will, whether you open it now or you open it next week, at some point, the mess that you're worried about will open and you will have to work it through. The choice is yours about when you do that. The sooner you do it, the less damage is done. Okay, that makes sense, doesn't it? Just to back that up, what we know for sure is that when a, there's been a betrayal in a couple, like an infidelity or an emotional betrayal, the sooner the couple comes into therapy or into a space like this to seek help, the less damage is done. And so it is with your decision. While you make yourself small every day, small little bits of problems are adding up where when you add those things over time, these small things become seemingly insurmountable. And that's when you see people comment in here and they say things like, I can't do anything more. We've tried everything. It's not going to work. He's leaving me. I have no options. That doesn't happen overnight. That happens in small decisions every day where things aren't addressed, where things aren't resolved, where things aren't cleaned up or tidied up, where things aren't 
allowed to be worked through. We're not allowed to talk about them, for example, where you avoid or defend or criticize or use contempt to make someone go away. Every time you do that, you're, equiva you're basically not allowing yourself to grow. And I want you to grow because when you grow, you will realize that you can do it, that you have this in you, that you are the change you've been waiting to see, that you and your marriage can have and your husband can have a wonderful life together. This I promise you, this is doable. But you need to get out of your own way. You need to start creating versus start versus let yourself destruct or avoid. Okay, so that's the job today. You're going to watch the masterclass. You're going to book a call. You're going to cancel your call if you're not serious about making change so somebody else can use that call because we have women who need our help and we are here to help. We're here to serve. Okay, my loves, I love you. I'm going to be back here on Thursday night and we're going to be talking about marriage and what happens in marriage if you feel like you're terrified of divorce and what that does to a marriage. So that's going to be a good topic too. If you have any topics you'd like us to cover, I'm going to ask Leilani to put a post up where you can list them in the post. And I'm happy to answer your questions. I'm happy to be here and to serve this community in that way. Okay, my loves. So I will see you here Thursday night. I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you all very much. Thanks for being here. And thanks for being a part of this wonderful community. Much love to you and your husband. Bye, darlings.